Why are you stupid? Get out from here. Get out from the road. Do you want me to kill you? to kill me. He stole my money and squeezed my neck. Obina. Obina, it was just a dream. Okay? No one will kill you. Except it's the will of God. But I'm scared. Don't be. That's why I'm here. As long as I'm here, no one can hurt you. Okay. Don't touch me, don't touch me. I don't want to talk to you. Why are you touching me? Leave me alone. Don't talk to you. By the way, my name is Charity. I don't want to know your name. I don't want to know your name. Don't tell me anything. Don't tell me anything. I don't want to know. Ma, I, I don't know how. She just came and she started talking to me. And I told her to leave me alone and not to talk to me. Yeah. Is that what happened? Yes, ma'am. You come closer. Uh -huh. Closer? Yes, ma'am. What? You slapped him. Are you mad? Are you okay? If I am mad, how dare you slap me? If, 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 if you touch my madam now, I will, I will just piss you. Come, 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 come on. Look, look, look at the door, she's looking like check a check. I, 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 I'm sorry, ma. I will do it to you. Take this. Yes, ma. Worried. I don't understand my daughter is in my again. What are you talking about? Well, Kenan, what will prompt someone's child to travel to the city for a very long time without minding to come and see her mother, know how she is very? Ah, oh, what makes you think she does not care for you? What other behavior explains it? No, she will tell me. What other behavior explains it better? Eh? Since Chekele was buried, and if the mom moved in as Andrew's second wife, she has not visited this village or this home. And whenever I say something about coming to visit, she will speak against it. But then, my... now maybe she is busy. Yeah? With work. Or so many other things. What kind of busy will make someone not to extend consent to their loved ones? When Chiemela was alive, she visits at any given opportunity. Does it mean she had no work to manage? Don't compare both of them. They are both your daughters, yes. But they weren't born with the same chi. And so you don't expect the same act from them. 
you now. Ten minutes. Ten years. Ten years after one ten days. <sighs> eh? It's okay. I know you missed her so much. Don't worry. Maybe she will pay you a surprise visit. Yes. So expect it. Don't make, don't lose hope yet. So much you know. I will come and uh, let me start me. going. My dear, it's a story for another day. Okay. Hmm? Mm. Right now, I am hungry. Let me get you. No, 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 no. Eh? my grandchild in here. Where my grandchild is? Be cool, be cool. Make sure you feed her and feed her well. It's your boy, eh? Ne? If you want more, mm. let grandma know. I will bring more for you. Grandma is capable. <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> uh, Look, 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 look. Eh. That's not a break of rank. I don't know. Nigeria. No, you can't go. On Nigeria, you can't go. Nigeria, you can't go. You can't go. You can't go. Eh? One day, one step. You can't go. You can't go. You can't go. You can't go. Thanks for the meal. I have to go now. Honey, don't tell me you're okay. You haven't even eaten up to half of your food. I'm fine. I don't understand. Is it that you don't enjoy my food? You barely eat your satisfaction in this house. At least I ate. I'm fine.
everything all right? Did I call you? Answer me! Did I mention your name? No, 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 no ma. I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for your miserable self. Get out! Come back here! Where are you going? My friend, will you clean this broken bottle? And I don't want to see any trace here. Okay, Shh. Hey, this is happening in this house again. Thank God I not this thing. Sorry ma, sorry ma, sorry ma. Seriously? This is it ma. If I didn't ask you to carry my bag, you won't carry it? Sorry ma. Are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you. You keep forgetting I don't understand or speak this your language. Oh, okay. Sorry. I was pulling your leg. Honestly, you look so worried. What is going on? What else? If it's not my husband. Your husband? Uh, please don't tell me he's still the way he was. Yes, he is. In fact, he's even getting worse. After 10 years of marriage? That is really depressing. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It's not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing, but believe me, it's not because of you. You see me here, I have zero tolerance for anyone that takes me for granted. It's not happening. There are a lot of things I don't know about you. But you see, one thing is for sure. I am glad I met someone like you in this city, regardless the age. Regardless the age? Seriously? But do you think I'm that young? No matter how you want to defend me, you're a baby compared to me. Really? <laughs> why are you laughing? No, answer me. Why are you laughing? Sorry. <clears throat> this is for 
laughing without taking permission from me. How dare you? Sorry, ma. Thank you, ma. Without taking permission from me, seriously? Yes, um, do the body part. Okay, I shall explain this. Um, mommy, mommy, do you want me to do anything for you? Anything? If I want you to do anything for me, yes, mommy. Yes, ma'am. Go inside. Yes, ma'am. Go inside the toilet and sit there. Yes, ma'am. Sit inside. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Ma'am, inside on top of the toilet. Yeah? On top of it. <laughs> Let me tell you what you're going to do. Wait, 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 What is it? No, it's Mazeloke. I saw him laying on the farm, and from all indication, he fell from a palm tree. Which of his farm tree are you talking about? The one that is close to my father's owner, Tigidimba. Please check up on him. Let me run and tell the wife and the daughter. Please. You eat your food so that you grow fat, yeah? Nim, my grandchild, I hope you're enjoying the food, eh? Yes, mom. Yeah. <laughs> eat. Mama! 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 What happened? Yes, I saw him laying on the farm. He obviously fell down from a palm tree. How? Where? At the farm. How? Smiling now. You're such a cute girl. I like you. Don't like me. Oh. Don't like me. I, I'll tell my madam for you if you like me. Madam, come on. Hey! Mm. I'll tell my madam for you. I'll tell my madam for you. Why did you touch me? I don't understand. Don't like me. Don't like me. Don't like me. It's not that it is that it's okay. You even like a moron. Imagine God. I say I like you. I'll tell my madam. I'll tell my madam. Don't like me. Don't like me. Don't like me. I'll tell my madam. I'll tell my madam. Don't like me. Don't like me. Don't like. Don't like me. Don't like me. I'll tell my madam. I'll tell my madam. This one you're packing is. We're supposed to be doing it one after another, one by one. Seriously? Yes, now. I'm not teaching you my work. I'm not teaching you, but to, I want it to be very neat. But it's already neat now. Okay, go on. <laughs> uh, anyway. Where is your errand boy? I haven't seen him. Hope all is well. That idiot. I sent him to get something for me. I don't know why he's still hurried back. Madam, 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 I'm back. She said she liked me, and I told her not to like me. When she said she liked me again, I knew that I was playing on the mountain. I started running as fast as my leg could carry me. Oh, who said she likes you? This one stupid girl at that place she sent me to go and buy something. You know? See, she, she even touched me, but I've cleaned it and I started running. I ran very fast. A girl touched you? Yes. So where exactly did she touch you? This place, but I've cleaned it. No, that cleaning is not good enough. It's not good enough. You have to go into the bedroom and take your bed, okay? Yes, ma'am. Mm. 
Emma, um, should I use hypo? Hypo. No, don't just use hypo. Use jig. Use clean. Use everything possible to make your body clean. Okay, wash off all the trace of that girl on your on your body. Yes, ma'am. Get out. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> it shock you. You keep it shocking me every day. <laughs> My sister, I told you. Everything seems to be fine. I don't know what you're talking about. Did you just say that? As you can see, I'm trying to watch a problem. Our conversation is not going to stop you from watching the problem. Except you're just looking for an excuse to waste this conversation like you always do. Very well, I'm not in the mood for all of this. We have something important to say. Yes, I have something very important to say. And I also need explanation in everything I'm about to say. For Christ's sakes, I'm your wife. No one is disputing that point. For the past 10 years, I've been married to you. But it still seems like I'm living with a total stranger. To mention but a few, I am subjected to loneliness. You barely touch my food. And you return home drunk. It has become your, your daily routine. Amos, please, talk to me. Is there something I'm doing or something I'm not doing that is making you act this way? I can't even remember the last time you touched me. Aren't you bothered that we don't have kids yet? For the past 10 years, we've been married. I'm trying to make babies, but to now, yeah. So what difference will it make if I look next to you? Listen, I need to be left alone. I have a lot of money. Things more important than your wife. Apples, can you even listen to yourself? I thought family is supposed to be prioritized above other things. I'm begging you, please. Let me. Ambrose, don't beg me. Don't beg me. I need answers. I want your answers. I am tired. You're working out for me as usual. I won't let you go. You must give me answers. I'm tired. Just give me some answers, please. Just stop. Mom. Yes, ma'am. Can I get a bottle of water? A bottle of water? Yes. Man, you're treating like a child. Excuse me? I don't understand. Come on. 
this young man is too mature to be treated this way. And he's also old enough to keep you in the house as a wife. Oh, really? I don't understand what you're saying. Oh, <laughs> I said you are welcome to my salon. Sorry, I intrude earlier, but that scene alone was so irritating. Okay, I have a brother just like him at all, and I won't have any girl not even you to treat him just like the way he behaves. Don't allow me to damn wink you. If she goes alone, I'm not even gonna make her. It's kind of you, he's yeah. If she goes home, calling you if she got hungry, you don't imagine that I'm going to survive soon enough. What do you say? Oh, you don't understand what I said. <laughs> All right, I said, let me come and take over. Let me make this hair myself, okay? You deserve a special treatment. Uh -huh. oh. Bridget, don't worry, let me take it over from here. <laughs> Are you okay? No, really. I feel excited. Oh, hey there. Yeah. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> I don't think I'll continue with this hair, please. Oh, really? Yes, I think I'll continue some other time. And I don't feel better. Oh, no problem. <laughs> I'm not sure here. Can I take it a bit? Ah, so now I'm gonna.
Madam, how are you doing? I did fine. What's in with that? Who will they find? Um, he and my son-in-law house. Your son-in-law? Eh. Uh, Meaning say you be your grandmama? No, I be your grandmadam mama. You be madam mama? Eh. Uh, eh, uh, wait, wait, make her open door for you. Oh, uh, mama. Oh. Did they come from village? Yes. Ah, welcome, welcome. Uh -huh. Make her go show you where, eh? Are you this much surprised to see me? Just, Mama, I wasn't expecting you. Besides, who embarks on a long journey without informing people? Well, the last time I told you about my concern to visit you and your husband, what was your response? Mama, but you know it's not right to visit people without telling them. What if something had happened to you? Well, to the glory of God, nothing happened. And nothing is going to happen to me. I invited myself over to visit my daughter who has refused to visit nor call me since 10 years. 10 years, if any more. No, it's not like that. Tell me how it is. Come up with an excuse. No, do, to cover your shame because you know it's unimaginable. No, well, you won't understand. <laughs> Is you okay? Eh? Make me understand. I'm listening. Otachogon, you see, you can't even defend yourself. Are you going to stand me up here and do question and answer or welcome me into this house probably? Oh, Mama, you're welcome. I'm sorry. You're welcome, Mama. Why is there no sign of Chenela and Obina's speech on the wall? About, uh, about that, Mama, I, I removed them. Huh? Why would you? Um, Mama, the thing is, Ambrose, yes, Ambrose normally falls into depression each time he sets his eyes on the door. So I decided to remove it because of I feel so pained. 
Hey, Mama, please, don't start. If you know what, let me go inside and fix something for you to eat. Okay? Um, yeah, please, don't cry again, please. Hey! That's your wicked. He was bearing the death of the wife. The son got missing. And he kuna amule kubo kunta. Ah! A son nabo. Wakulum madu. This is the very day. No improvement at all for you. Yeah. Don't worry. Your husband will revive back soon. The medicine man assured us that. That is what he said. Yet, I am not seeing any improvement at all. My husband cannot move any part of his body again. Madam, because the accident affected his spinal cord and brain. But that doesn't mean that he will not recover from it. He will recover. To stand up. Yeah. Be patient. Your husband will definitely regain himself. Hey, look at our friend, he's a strong man. And he cannot succumb to the will of wickedness. I know he's hearing us. And he will definitely see this truth. Hello, Ka. Hello, Ka. You heard what Atrophosia said. Please, do not put us to shame. Hmm? Our family needs you. Hmm. Why? He. Ne. He moved his fingers. Look at. Eh? Hmm? Look at. Hurry, hurry, hurry. I was with the strong man. Go and bone your father's medicine then. Okay. Bring it now. Oh. Hurry. Let us now pretend as if all is well. We might have succeeded in deceiving Chinwa and the daughter, but we both know the truth. The chances of Eloka surviving such accident is little. I'm very much aware of that. The medicine man told us everything, but he did not change the fact that what we did was right. We cannot tell the poor woman and her daughter that their father is dying. That is a misfortune regret. And we cannot do anything about it. <sighs> that is why the white man is better than us. Spit out that calamity just vomited. How could you say that the white men are better than Rua root? How could you say that? That is true. Hey, look, I wouldn't have been subjected to such condition if he was being taken care of by the white man. I heard that this will have cure for all ailments. Hey. All I see, the value of value is ignorance. You speak like a toddler, fitted with his mother's breast. Mm -hmm. The white men need more advance in science and technology. But that doesn't mean that they are better than us. Okay, if you say that the white men are better than us, what are we good at? Tell me exactly what we are good at. Ah, so, so witchcraft now. What? Witchcraft, of course. Hey. I'm short of folks. Hearing you saying this means that you need to visit Amadjoha itself. Hey, that our people are good in witchcraft only. Only, of course. Ghosts of our land. Just hear the voice of your own. If you don't have any other thing to say, 
I'm going. Mama, what is it? Mama, are you okay? Mama, what is it? Hmm? Are you okay? Mama, I... I saw Chemela. How can you see Chemela when she's long dead and buried? I saw her. She wasn't looking dead. She was looking very much alive, putting up her smiling face as usual. I was seated at the dining, waiting to be served food. She brought food in a tray, giving me and was smiling. So I was trying to to hold her and Mama, mm -hmm. you just said you saw her in your dream. Yes. Now you're back to reality. Mama, do you know that Chimela was long dead and buried? Oh, yes. I know you miss her. I miss her too. We all miss her. But we cannot change that fact. And we cannot question God either. I started both of you. No problem. Mama, it's fine. Just calm down and relax yourself. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay. Mama. Yes. Relax. I'm trying. Uh, you know what? My husband said I should tell you, you should get ready. Once he comes back from the meeting he's having with his client, he will take you round and show you the city. Ah, yes, I know you will like that. Why won't I like it? Huh? I had the city son-in-law. That makes me automatically a city mother-in-law. Sadly. <laughs> uh, Mama, yes. I have to relax. You know what? Why don't you go in now and get dressed? He will soon be back. Mm. Yes. Uh, what do I wear? When we go there, we'll cut it out. I will make my hair. I know. <laughs> I'm here. Nothing can hurt you. Okay? Thank you so much. May God bless you, Auntie. Thank you. Put my money back. God bless you. Thank you. Look, I brought your favorite. I'll make it this. Thank you so much. I'm very hungry. Okay. Ah. Uh? Thank you so much. 
I bless you. And then... Are you serious? Of course I am. <laughs> you mean your husband washed all your undies? <laughs> Call him whatever you like. Yes, he does that. He even do more than that. But moreover, he doesn't have any choice. I control the idiot, so he is at my mercy. <laughs> I wish Ambrose would be subjected to doing the same for me. Seriously? Yes. So simple. I can help you achieve that. Are you serious? Yes. He said... You said what? You will help her achieve what? What? Look at me. Look at me very well. What are you doing with my daughter? Mama, Mama, please stop. She is my friend. Her name is Alima. Well, I don't like her. I don't like you and I don't want you to be friends with my daughter. What? What are you still doing? Get out. I don't want to see you. Get out! No, I don't want to see you. Get out! Mama, stop. Look at what he's doing. Stop. Oh, no, Alima. Please do. The girl is a very small girl. She's not your mate. Eh? Besides, she was born in the north. Mama, there is nothing wrong with people born in the north. Who told you? Hey! On your guangi. Who told you? She is young. She's not your mate. Besides, she has a Muslim father and an Igbo mother. Those people are very, very Mama, dangerous. I have heard you. I will do as you said. No problem. People do. Own them too. People. Give me a bro. No problem. I have my son. Please, I am sorry to have kept you waiting. Oh, because I just can't talk for sense. Mama, it's nothing, okay? I understand we are having mother and daughter conversation. So take your time. Okay. <laughs> Listen to me. I need to see you. I know you are all. Choking me in this house. See the way you love me. See the way you care for me. I can't remember talking about it. Even in the woods, you watch over me. Hello, guys. 
Eh? Uh, so what tell me what is happening here? Uh, Papa did what now? He never told me. Hey! Jemma! 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 Hey! I'm going to go! 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 Hey! Hey! Jemma! Yeah. Hey! 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 I don't know what I do. I don't know what I do. I don't know what I Of this, Jesus. Baby, I'm sorry. I never knew you, you were the one. What do you mean you're sorry? I'm here trying to make up with you, and you're here mourning my dead sister's name. I can't even explain what happened. I'm sorry, okay? Ambrose, I'm your wife. Don't you care how I feel? I'm trying to make up with my husband and you're here mourning my sister's name, my dead sister's name. The woman in question was my wife. Your younger sister. I once loved her and I still love her even in death. Besides, you should respect the dead. This is the height of it. I, this is humiliation. I don't like it. This is the height of it. You're still telling me you love her. This simulation is just too much. Simulation. You're telling me you love my sister. Maybe it's your kid's sister. Come on. All right. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Let's just call it slip of tongue. You know I love you so much. I'm sorry. And it will never happen again. Please forgive.
That's how man is so handsome. Huh? Ndidi, what is it? What is it? Chemela this, Chemela that. I have had enough. Why are you always so upset when I'm commenting on your sister's spouse? Ndidi, seems you don't know when to stop. You don't know when to stop. You know what? I have seen you off enough. You can go from here. You made him man. I said go from here. I've seen you off enough. Tell him man, come now. Mom, I'm not all right. I'm not all right. Because you're a partaker in the humiliation I get. Partaker in the humiliation you get? I don't understand. Who is humiliating you? How am I humiliating you? All of you. All of you. How can you stand and watch Ambrose want to get married to my sister? When I'm the elder sister? It's not fair. It's not fair. Listen. Love doesn't work with age or position. It locates wherever it wants to locate. And your sister, it's just lucky to be there. She's lucky to be there before you, that's all. Mama, and you fold your hand. You did not tell Ambrose, I am the elder sister. I don't understand. Are you insinuating I should tell Ambrose to leave your sister and marry you? He said the ma. Mama, that's not what I mean. That's not what I mean. I mean, you would have told them to give me that respect as her elder sister and wait until I find my own man and get married. Huh? Now, now everybody will mock me. My dear, nobody is going to mock you. See, everybody is born with different destinies. That your sister is getting married first doesn't mean that you will not find your own man someday and settle down. So please, allow things to flow naturally. Mama, please. It Mama. is what it is. Mama, it's Chemela like this. All the time it's Chemela. When will it be about me? All the time, Chemela. Don't I deserve to be happy? All the time, Chemela, Chemela, Chemela. What are you talking about? Honestly, you are surprising me. Are you trying to say I am too? Huh? Very good man. You still want to marry my sister despite her health condition. Health condition? <clears throat> Is she suffering from any kind of sickness? Wait. She didn't tell you about her health? Oh. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't be the one to tell you. Since you started already, feel free to share. Okay. Um, my sister was born with this chronic asthma. She barely survived without her inhaler. How come she never mentioned it to me? Uh, well, my sister has a way of concealing things, except she wants it to be known. But I'm sure she has a reason for not telling you. But if you ask me, I would say she would have told... She would have told you since you're planning to get married to her. Why not? Well, um... The love I have for your sister is real and deep. Nothing can come in between us, no matter the sickness or drama. Hey! 
Just push it up, push it up. Don't push it up, I think it costs it. I could be telling him everything. Why would she tell it? No matter what, no matter what, she has asthma. Did I lie? Tell him, no, no, no. Does she not have done that? Does she not have asthma? No. She's your sister. Why would be telling him everything? What happened? Don't tell me they've gone already. They have gone. Oh, give me medicine. Huh? Ndidi. What is it? And I can't tell. I don't even understand if it's at all. If it's Mogini, what is it? Mama, not to know. I don't know what she's talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about. What is me? it? Is that a new national anthem? What is the meaning of that? Mama, not, nothing is wrong. They left. So why didn't you tell me? Tell you what? So you think if you tell me about your condition, it will affect our relationship? Um, what are you talking about, babe? What is this? Now tell me, what is this? You can't talk anymore. I'm sorry. I I just I just I, I just didn't want to lose you. That's why I couldn't say anything to you. I'm sure there are so many other things I'm supposed to know about you that you're not telling me. No, 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 babe. I swear this was the only secret. I want you to know this, okay? My love for you is beyond any condition or situation. All you owe me is the truth. I still love you regardless. You should have told me. Please don't do this next time, okay? I'm sorry. I've forgiven you. I promise never to keep anything from you again. have I done here? Chemela, are you not asthmatic before? Uh, How am I supposed to know you've not told him before now? Yes, I'm asthmatic. Yes, I am. But I have mouth. I have my mouth, if any man. It is my secret to tell and not yours. But you did it anyways. Tell me, what do you even gain by doing that? You don't expect me to answer that stupid question. Uh, both of you, please don't. I am begging you. You've quarried enough. The mistake has already been made. If it didn't mind, you were wrong to have told Ambrose about your sister's condition. It's her choice to tell, not yours. Mama, so both of you are ganging against me again. Eh? Both of you want to gang and fight me. What can stop that crocodile tears? Nobody has ganged up against you. We've not ganged up against you. We are not trying to fight against you. Whenever you do any mistake, try to accept it. Render an apology on time. It will help you a lot. Mama, so both of you want to fight me because I do not have a man. Why am I fighting me because I do not have a man? Why do you fight me? 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 That's how she behaves. That's how she behaves. If any man refuses to accept the truth all the time. Huh? And do you walk in Bia? Come here. Why didn't you tell Ambrose about your health condition? Mama, I was scared now. I was scared. I thought he would react negatively. But I was wrong. But you should have told him. See, let me tell you. Any relationship built on secrets doesn't last. They collapse before they develop. Yes, Mama. I know that now. We have resolved it. And I promised him never to keep anything from him again. That's good to hear. However, forgive your sister. I, I know how she felt. She might not meant what she said. She maybe she was trying to explain things and said it the wrong way. Mama, what Sifedima did was annoying. I was know. very, very annoying. But she's my sister. She will always be my elder sister. 
Mm. Thank you so much. That's one thing I like about you. You are very wise. <laughs> Edema, please stop all this. I see no reason for you to be upset. Besides, this is your sister we are talking about. You crossed the line when you reveal her head condition to the husband to be. Instead of him hearing from her, I tried to stop you both. Are you mad? What gave you the right to counter my actions? How dare you? Then stick to be my friend. Stick to be my friend. Don't cross your boundaries. This is this is family business we are talking about. You don't have anything to do with it. Don't shut up if, if you don't have relevance to contribute to my life. You should know what? Just leave this place. Your son needs you. Leave this place. Are you sending me away? Yes, take it as you as you want. I just want to be left alone. I should go out of your house. Yes. Oh, you don't want to leave Abby. I will leave this place for you. I will leave here for you. Inside your mouth.
I wish the crisis would happen right now. Please let it happen. I want that to be expressed. Open. I miss you, my dear, my dear baby. Yeah. I got a yeah.
No! No! No, 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 no! No! What is it? What is it? Why are you screaming? Mama, it's nothing. It's nothing and you're shouting. Don't touch her. No, no, no. Who should not touch who? Mama, I just had a dream. Go inside and sleep. I'm a little lazy. I'm doing one and a half. We're leaving. You see, what is wrong? Why the nonsense? Mama, I miss Jamela. This house is boring without her. <laughs> Because you don't see who to fight with, Aubrey. But, but I'm serious. I really miss my sister. I want to see her again. I know you missed your sister. It's normal among siblings. Don't worry. I know Chemela too well. Very soon she will come visit me. She can't stay too long without seeing her mother. Mama, but I want to be the one to visit her myself in the city. Baro. Oh, that Baro. No, no. It's too early. She's barely two months in her husband's house. So it is early to start entertaining visitors. Mama, I am her sister, not a stranger. I know. However, they still need their privacy for now. They should be allowed to bond well first before getting distracted by a third party. Mama, huh? Are you saying I'm a third party and a distraction to my own sister? Mama, the way you talk sometimes, I don't like it. He said, Emma, that, that is, that, that, that is, I don't, I don't even want what is wrong with this girl? You are welcome. Thank you. Thank God you are here. Please, eh? you need to help me talk to this girl. She's losing it already. What happened? Did I say anything wrong? She said she wants to go to the city to visit her sister. Barely two months after her traditional marriage. And I said no. I was only trying to make her understand and see reasons with me that they need privacy for now. Oburo mm -hmm. eh? She flamed up. Where did I go wrong? Did I say anything wrong on this? You did not say anything wrong, Mama. All your words are true. God bless even you. I shouldn't have even suggested that at all. Please. I know she'll be at the backyard. Eh? Go and talk. Talk with her. Make her understand that it is too early for them to start receiving visitors. Please go and talk to her. It's okay. You don't know man. what is wrong with this girl. It's okay, eh? Mama. I'll do that. I don't know if the spirit of walking out on people is disturbing her. What gonna pim? What gonna pim? Ona ona tamu alone like like onye lila mawa. See akwa. Her behavior is so weird. You can't imagine waking up in that village and don't see anyone to fight with. Oh, so Mama was right when she said you were always giving her troubles. Oh, both of you have been gossiping about me, right? Eh, it's not called gossiping. It's called 
sweet, sweet talks about a certain troublesome sister. Hmm. <laughs> okay, anyways, you came at the right time. Food is on the street. Thank goodness, because I'm at the verge of fainting right now. And trust me, this is the worst place for someone to faint. <laughs> you get to know. Let me leave you guys. I have an appointment to catch. Okay. Okay, then. Feel free, eh? You're welcome. So, um, just take the box to the room and prepare the dining hall. Terrible nightmare. Nightmare? Yes. Please, can I sleep here? I can't sleep in my room. Um, let us sleep. I need to open the table with good news. In that case, I can't wait. Same here, my ears are already itchy. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is the result of the test I had this morning. I'm pregnant. Pregnant? Too fat. I'm sorry, I mean, wow, congratulations, sis. Congrats, I'm so happy. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. So, when do we get to know if you get the only boy? <laughs> Sophie. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Congrats, sis. I'm so happy for you. So finally, I will become a father. Come
you sure you're fine? I'm, I'm sorry, it's all my fault. You shouldn't have slapped sorry, him. Ma. Do you want to kill her? Sorry, ma. Stupid boy. Now get out of my sight. Yes, ma. Can you imagine? I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. You shouldn't have slapped him. It's not your fault. Just look at the boy. He's a foolish one for that matter, okay? When you don't know how to do it, you don't know how to do it. 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 I'm not sure I understand what you just said. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Uh, I'm so sorry, okay? You know, I'm used to this Hausa tongue, so I thought everyone is familiar with it. Anyway, I said, like you can see, the boy is a fool, a very big one for that matter, okay? <laughs> but nevertheless, uh, my name is Halima. My name is Ikeduma. Oh, Ikeduma. I like your name. It's nice. Thank you. I like yours. <laughs> Thank you. And by the way, you look so troubled. I hope. Everything is okay. Like, since you don't want to talk right now, it's fine. So, can I give my complimentary card? We can talk some other time if you want. Is it okay? My complimentary card. Yes, ma. <laughs> so, call me anytime you're free, okay? So, we can talk. everything you say. The choices we make shapes our fate. And moving towards promising opportunities doesn't make someone selfish. If you want your sister's husband, then go for him. Yes. Believe me, I am not going to judge your decisions, okay? Because life has conditioned me way beyond that. But how am I supposed to do that? He loves my sister so very much. He barely notices me. Then give purpose a breath. Awaken your desires and see all of them properly attended to. <laughs> I know you might have been wondering what this idiot. Hey, you. Turn around. What is going on with this fool? <laughs> Honestly, my head has been filled with the thought of you. What? It was not like this before. He was my first boyfriend, someone I loved so much. I was so naive and innocent. Then he promised to marry me and he took away my pride. Yes. But do you know what this idiot did to me? No. He was secretly planning his wedding with another lady. I found out through his invitation card that was moving in circle. They didn't even have the decency to tell me anything about it. So I confronted him and he threw it at my face. I felt so betrayed. He scorned my personality for being a half mortaner. He said he could never have anything serious to do with a person like me. So he knew all this while that he can never settle with me, but he was deceiving me. Do I really deserve that? I don't understand, like, I loved him, you know? Ma, are you okay? If I'm okay. Yes, ma. Come close, let me tell you if I'm okay. <laughs> Come close. Ma, are you okay? Yes! Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. Okay. 
So when I confronted him, he laughed at me. I felt like a dagger was pierced through my chest, but there was nothing I could do about it. And I left. So I picked up myself and decided to move on. A few days later, I discovered I was pregnant and I went back to him. But this time around, he was with his friends. He made them mock me. They laughed at me. I was so, so, so embarrassed. My self-esteem was brutalized. I was so... It was so painful when I aborted the pregnancy and embarked on my journey for retribution. I guess he underestimated what I could do. What a broken heart could do. So I aborted the pregnancy and embarked on my journey for retribution. And this over here is the result of it. And you know what? This is just the beginning. <laughs> Men can be so cruel. Oh my goodness. What? Not just cruel. Some men are complete packages of ancestral to fear work. And this thing over here is one of them. What about your parents? My father is late now, though he's from Kano, which prompted my mom to bring me back to the East ever since. And that was how I met him. I'm so sorry. Life has truly been unfair to you. It's fine. I don't care where and how you were able to achieve your aim, but I am willing to compromise mine. Please help me take Ambrose. Make him mine or I'm going to go insane, please. You don't have to beg me. I will do that for you, okay? You are my friend. You don't have to beg me. Yeah, just calm down. <laughs> I made Eba and the Caliph soup for you. Nice. Okay. Here we go. I already made food for him. Oh, thank you, sis. But my husband eats just noodles in the morning. No, no, no. Why would you make noodles for him in the morning? Is that what Mama taught you? You can't even take care of your own husband. What? What's the meaning of this? What's wrong in giving my husband noodles in the morning? Everything is wrong with it. It shows you're incompetent in handling your home. S sister. It's okay. My wife is right. I prefer noodles in the morning. That's my wish. Who are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for your madame Ifedima. My madame? Yes. I'm sorry. She's not my madame. Madame Chimela is. Oh, is that so? <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's fine, okay? Can I see her now? Laura. Sir. Who is there? Please come in. This lady, she said she's looking for me. She's my friend. I invited her here. Oh, you already made a friend in the city. 
Am I not supposed to? No, don't get me wrong. Yes, you can. Why not? But at least you should have told my husband and I that you were bringing a guest. <laughs> um, well, if Edima, it seems your sister and her husband don't want me around. I'll be on my way. No, no, hold on, hold on. understand she just wants to control everything concerning my life she's had the same attitude since in the village and now she has brought it to my marriage calm down my lord in my opinion she's just trying to be overprotective elder sister no i'm not a kid you know if this her attitude continues, I will just tell her to leave. Oh, it hasn't gotten to that, okay? Give her time, she will normalize. You know, sometimes I just wonder why you keep supporting her. Why do you keep supporting her? Okay, just look at that girl she brought without prior notice. No, I, 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 I don't even feel good about that girl. There is something about her. She's too young, too young to be my sister's friend. It's not like I'm supporting your sister, no. I'm just trying to balance the things between the both of you. I don't like that girl either. But don't forget, she is not a baby and we can't choose our friends. Like I said, give her time. Calm down, she will normalize, okay? Come on, you're too beautiful for this. I, I'm really sorry for calling you out from work. It was really necessary. I hope you're okay. I'm not very okay. You needed to see the way they gossiped me last night. Those two, they haven't gotten over that I invited you to the house. I have really suffered. <laughs> so what is the plan now? What do you want to do? Halima, my sister is four weeks pregnant. Pregnant? Yes. I want to terminate that child. I don't want the child to bring more bonds to the husband and wife. Is that all? You don't have an issue at all. I'm coming, okay? okay. Use this. Thank you. So add this in her drink. Anything that she's going to drink at all. And make sure it's in a higher dose. Just enough. Okay? okay. Uh, is that all? That's all. It works for me. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. Anything for you, okay? Thank you. Right, so take care. Okay, bye. Bye.
that girl, Laura. She's going to be a big problem. If she doesn't mind her business, I'm going to place her where she deserves. No good at all. Yeah? I hope there's no problem. Chimo. Mm. This is exactly good nine months that he paid him to agree to visit. And she has refused to return. The worst of it is that she doesn't pick my calls. And if eventually she quits, she'll start complaining about network. That same time, I will call Chemela. Chemela will pick. He will talk at length as human beings. Yeah? Does it mean that that network in the city is disturbing only if they did mass phone? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, forgetting them. Is it not obvious that she is enjoying her sister's home? She is representing her name. Ife Dima. She likes good things. And the city has offered it to her. That is not an excuse at all. Eh? Open <laughs> excuse. This is not a laughing matter. This is not a laughing matter. She's not supposed to stay in that house for long. That is her younger sister's husband's house. What is she doing there? I've tried to make her see reasons with me, but she wouldn't listen. People don't want to kill a day ham. What kind of a child is she? It's okay. It's okay, eh? Um, since your daughter will soon put to bed, hmm? just calm down. When you now go for Mugo, eh? you will now sit her down and talk sense into her. You go. Okay. Hey, okay. 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 In my presence, try her. Let me see if you're saying the truth or not. Because sometimes, oh, we go phone again. It is a lie. It might be your phone that is disturbing you. Hello, Mama. Uh -huh. If I didn't. Hello, Mama. Hello, Mama. I cannot hear you. Hello. Network is not disturbing you. Talk to me. What is wrong with you? I said network, network, network. Hello. Hello, Mama. Speak up. I can't hear you. I'll call to you. Why did she call the phone? Chimo. <laughs> okay, now I see you now. I told you. Hey. Ole, I have told you what to do. Eh? There's no problem. When you get here, you have to do hmm? Just come down. I will not come down. I will not come down. Come down for what? I know what to do. 
If Edima refused to receive sense, Omara nye lelele na nka lola lo. O ma ka wu. But I will teach her a lesson she will not forget in a hurry. Na na apo ala. If someone had told me that my sister would carry that pregnancy to give sense, I could not believe. Despite all my efforts, she keeps waxing stronger. As if she has an inbuilt stimulator that stimulates the poison. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to say now, why you went to come to me and going to search over those, which I'm very sure that you obeyed. You did what I asked you to do, right? Yes. And yeah, the baby is still there. Guy, 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 guy. I thought I was going to eat the money and I'm going to have a strong resistant spirit. What more can I do? Another problem I'm going to have is my mother. That woman would not leave me alone. She keeps calling me every day as if her life depends on me. Your mother is not a problem. Yes, she's just doing her duty as a mother. What you should be thinking of right now is how to strategize a new plan on how to get rid of that child. Except you are planning to give up. Did you say give up? Mm -hmm. God forbid. Never. No way. I will only give up when I have Ambrose and wrapped around me. I'm here running at the totem paper. When I hit a lab and took an agar, you don't want to kiss him back. No, I'm going to kill you when I get him to one drop of the shop. You disappear. I'm going to give back the full content of our dose, which I'm very sure. I must still hear my yaki to
Mr. Ambrose, let's see in my office, please. It must not be in your office. Talk to me here. I'm sorry, she, she didn't make it. She died before she was rushed here, though the operation was successful. But luckily for us, the baby in her survived. In fact, he's a baby boy. I'm sorry, take it easy, Mr. Ambrose. Let's go. We have a long journey. Okay. My in-law. Thank you. Oh, thank you for listening to us. I thank God your traditional marriage was successful. Marie is a chicken. Please take care of her. He said, Mama. Mama. You know you now have a responsibility. You are automatically the mother of two. Your husband and your sister's son, Bobina. Do not forget that. Oh? Yes, ma'am. Please. I'm happy. I am happy. Don't forget to be calling her. Oh, oh, hey. We shall, we shall, we shall. Oh. I'm glad to miss you. So what will you stand to gain? What will you stand to With gain? wickedness and betrayal. So what will you stand to gain? Oi. With jealousy and envy. With jealousy and envy. So what will you gain? Oh. When you let the devil to use you. Oh. And hatred has taken over you. Walking against your own sister, I remember. No peace for the wicked. And karma is very rugged at judgment. So tread with caution, my sister. I remember. If one year met a little and there is a wage for every sinner. Makanana, so I am so. What is it? Stop. What do you mean, what is it? I should stop. This is our first night as husband and wife. Don't you know what that means? Baby, rest. Baby, swanky. <laughs> we had a stressful day. Imagine the stress we went through during our traditional marriage, including the long journey. Now, what do you want to do? Make love? No, I don't have such a reason. Please. Are you using this as an excuse to deny me of having you this night? I'm not denying you. Stop. I'm not denying you myself. We had a stressful day. I am tired. I want to sleep. If you are still charged though, you can go and take care of me. Is that all you care about? Take care of the baby. Oh, I almost forgot. That is the reason you married me, right? I remember before you met that love, before you love, and there is a wage for every sinner. Makanana so I am so. Daddy can shake. Who can make it so moony? I thought you didn't understand. I make it so. Why ya? Oh. Check Kingdom. <laughs> Do you mind interpreting what you just said? Ah, I said you are so so happy because you have finally achieved everything you want. It's written all over you. Shh. Be careful with your words. Ah. The world has ears. Sure, about that. <laughs> anyway, so are you comfortable with your sister's picture hanging on the walls? Well, I am not, but what can I do about it? Seriously? What can you do about it? Hello? 
You are the woman in this house. Take charge. Dominate your territory. That's exactly what you are supposed to do about. You are absolutely right. Once you leave now, I'll take it off. Sure. Now you're talking. Okay. So, let's go to the best part of this discussion. So tell me. <clears throat> so how was it like? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't believe you're asking me about this. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Fine. But, but I will tell you now. It's going to be topic for another day. No, you have to tell me, please. You have to tell me. No, I said another day. Was it big? Please stop. Just stop. <laughs> Was he whining his way? No, my it's not sister, it's not I it. remember, remember if I I and there is a wage for every sinner. My canana, so I am so. He said, I will tell you, God. He said, I will What is going on here? Who removed my wife's fur? I'm your wife. Don't be a dummy. I'm talking about your Maria's fur. I removed it. Excuse me. Why? Because I'm your wife. My friend is supposed to be here, not hers. Who gave you the right to remove my wife's frames without my consent? Are you sick? The last time I checked, I'm your wife. I deserve some respect. Chimila is dead. Just accept it and move on. You're very, very stupid. Listen, if you don't have respect for Chimila as your sister, I won't let you disregard her as my wife, dead or alive. You have three minutes, three minutes to remove that frame and replace them with Chimera's frames. Else, you will regret knowing me. Can't you hear him crying in his room? I hear him, but I move and take care of him. Tell your wife to do that. So, who are you to me? My mother or my sister? Oh, finally you acknowledged me as your wife. I suddenly become important because the baby is crying. You didn't think of it when you slapped me a few hours ago. My love, there is time for everything. Punish me for my deed. But don't extend it to our innocent child. Please, attend to the baby. Madam, the baby is crying. I'm coming. This is not yet over. I'm coming. <laughs> Let me drop in the school. 
Please don't lack tell the aunt to always use this on him whenever he's not paying rent. Of course, I will. <laughs> See you soon. All right, ma'am. Take care. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. The ball. The ball. <laughs> Get all the item goods for me. I want to make my husband's favorite meal. I want to surprise him at the office. Thank you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That is planning to will everything to his son in I overheard everything. He wants to seal it on his first birthday. After everything I did for that man, I was the one who raised and nurtured his child. Now you just want to discard me as if I am nothing. Of course not, I won't let that happen. Since he has decided to push me on the wall, I will bounce back. Since Obina is the only priority in his life now, I am going to squeeze the little life out of that boy. Yes, I will kill that boy and watch what becomes of my husband. I'll talk to you. I know today is Saturday, but I have a serious business appointment. When I came in last night, you were already asleep, and I didn't want to bother you. So see you later, okay? See you later.
Madam, welcome. Thank you. How are you? Very fine. How is Obina? Ah, Obina. They know they. They don't come out to. Hey, Lord, I come carry Obina. Come out. He say, hey, I'm taking him to his father. That's why I take speed the open gate for them, two of them. Pia. Taking him to his father. Where? I'm saying where? I won't take no. I don't know, ma. Who told her to take him? But I'm up, no problem. Oh. Supposed to ask you with that because where were they move? They put there for my body. I put food for your body. You see what you've cost, Abby? You see what you've cost? Danger day. You know what it What did I cost? You see what you've cost? Danger day. Look at now, my, my husband's phone is not connecting. Look at what you've cost. Where is Robin? I've been trying to reach my husband. His number is not, he's not going through. I can't reach him. You are telling me I'm putting pressure on you. I won't ask what people. Wait till we get my work. Get my work, no be to just open gates. Person they go, you open. Person they come back, you open. Wait till consign me now for picking where they carry. I be I they I they work for child trafficking office. Person carry picking, say I want to take him to his father. Wait till I suppose you no be to open gate for them. Now see how many slap where I don't chop now for waiting. I don't know. Oh, poverty. Now you did this one. I see your hand work. Because if to say I'll be banker now, I gave, I gave for my office in the last Namia AC is supposed to be a battle. Not the way get man know this. Oka! Oka! Hey! Hey! Oka! Oka! Hey! Tell me the truth. Where is my son? Ah! Hey! 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 I asked a man, the boy, go, go, they go office. Boy, they go office. He said, come on, make I open the gate. That's why they carry the boy to come for you, sir. Did you call me to the fire? My phone dies, sir. Hey, you! Hey! 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 By the time you see yourself in prison, you will find the truth. Stay like this. You have three minutes. If I go in and come back, and you don't start conversing, I will set you at ease. Yeah. Uh, you said you will not say that. I won't die. 
Please, I want my son back, okay? Just make sure you find him, please. What did the police say? No trace of them yet. My son is nowhere to be found. Oh my God. What are we going to do now? Laura must be caught. She must not go scot free. God. Why is this happening to me? First I lost my beloved wife to the cold hands of death. Now my only son is nowhere to be found. supposed to be happy by now. Why are you still worried? You wanted the boy to be gone and now he is gone. So I don't understand. Halima, it's true I wanted the boy gone. But not like this. Only God knows where he is now. Wherever he is doesn't matter. As long as he is gone forever. Yes. Besides, your house help made the job so easier for you. So whosoever she is working with, everything eventually works in your own favor. You should be happy, okay? Hmm. What if he comes back? If he comes back, then we improvise another plan and get rid of him. So simple. Hmm. It's going to be very difficult for him to get over it. Seeing Obi Nasco would have made the process very easy. <laughs> Nevertheless, I'm really happy he's gone. Oh, you come. <laughs> you should be happy, okay? Yaro ya te pimantere shi. Mhm. Aka. Aka. Aka ne. Yaro ya. Yaro ya ta. Goodness. Yaro ya te pimantere shi. Yaro. Yaro. Ya te pimantere shi. I got it. Oh, oh goodness. Hey, you. Come here. Ma. Yes, ma. What is that nonsense you're doing? Now you get out. Sorry, ma'am. Move! Take this drink and show us who is your husband. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ta wo botin pe bi. Achalu go nwa. Nwa ile nne ya. Elewu ku ebu e o. Eh. Ofu go yo. Hey, ikolo be na mma. Hmm. My children, you shall be well with you. He said, You shall live long. He said, You will see your children, children. He said, Oh, no, I'm working more money. He said, Oh, no, that's a house. He said, The cause of this life, God said, I'm guiding you. He said, What is it? Why are you crying? some people that did really bad things to her. They are also the reason you are on this wheelchair. Do you want me to tell you what happened? If I tell you, the truth will change a lot of things. You will also be open to the other world. And you will miss me. I know you don't understand. But as time goes on, you will see things the way they are. But just know, know that your mother loves you. She loves you and she will always be there for you. Okay? Okay, Chi. Okay, Chi. Come on. Okay, Chi. Okay, Chi. Come on. Okay, Chi. It's okay. Okay, Chi. Come on.
Aku udah apa news? Apa news? The young girl here make it. So far, it's now been and died before she got here. Jesus Christ. Sorry. How come doctor? But well, the boy is alive. But I'm afraid he might not be able to walk again for a very long time. The bones connected to his kneecap are broken, resulting in him going into a coma. I'm sorry for your loss. Are you, are you leaving? Yes, let me get some things. Okay, the first part, because the boy will need to see his father. Chairman, what is going on? What is happening? You died and left your only son here in this world. That's my only consolation. And now your son is reported missing. How could this be? They said the men you employed ran away with your son. You cannot just sleep and do nothing. You need to go and dress your child. I don't know my way around in the city. Where do I go to look for you? How do I look for this boy? Mama, you need to rise and go and look for your son. I am tired. My name is Che Mela. I am the mother of this child. How I got in here doesn't really matter. But the man that brought him here made no mention of you. That's because he doesn't know. I don't understand. Yes, you won't understand. Okay, madam, I don't want to be harsh on you. This is a private ward. I'll advise you to leave. The boy needs some rest. For this child, I can do anything. Really? Just wait for me. Here earlier, she claimed to be the mother of the boy. Okay. I wasn't so confident, so I told her to leave me alone. Um, sorry, I didn't tell you earlier about her. She meant no harm. And as a matter of fact, I think she's the best position to take care of the boy. Okay, now that you've confirmed it, I'll visit her inside. Okay, thanks. thanks. Uh, pro probably she stepped out to get something. She brought you. Definitely. How is Obinna? Obinna? Oh, that's his name. <laughs> well, um, Obinna's legs are completely dead. He's not responding to still alive. But every other part of his body is working perfectly well. I see. Yeah, then what do we do, Doctor? Yeah, you need to make an arrangement for a wheelchair. Because he can't stand or walk on his own right now. Mr. Paul, I told you, this misfortune might take a very long time. It's okay, let's get in the nature of them. 
Um, but what can we say? It's true, it's true. Chance to discuss about it. That's very true. Um, it's a long story. Story you can't share now? Um, Doctor, it's not as if I can't share the story. But the present circumstance, and, uh, I can't. I understand. I understand. messed up right now. Fuck! How did I let this happen? Running over a little girl and a little boy. I wasn't careful. I wasn't careful enough. Leaving the little boy in the hospital and the girl dead. Oh God. Jesus Christ. What am I going to do? Run away from this town or what? <sighs> no. No. I can't run away. I have to face my deeds. Yes, I have to face my deeds. Running away from this town is a sin against God and humanity. Sorry for the misconduct. What? What are you talking about? You know I told you I was going to come back, but I didn't come back. What are you talking about? I'm surprised seeing you walking from the entrance. I left you in the ward three seconds ago. You left me in the ward? Which ward? We were with Obina all this while. Obina? Is that the little boy's name? Mr. So, Paul, what's wrong with you? Why did you know I told me his name was Obina? No, 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 doctor. I didn't. I didn't tell you anything. I don't know what's wrong with you, but you have to follow me now. We need to get to the ward immediately. Okay. Doctor. I left you here with this child. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Not me, doctor. I think there are some sort of mistakes here. Ever since I left this hospital, I haven't been here. I am not going crazy. I left you here with this boy. No, I didn't come back again. What's, What's going me? on? Not me, doctor. Sincerely speaking, not me.
Sapo, do you forget anything? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. You were here earlier, you took your child and left. So I repeat, did you forget anything? <laughs> no, I didn't do with anyone. And as a matter of fact, this is my first time coming to the hospital today. <laughs> Young man, what games are you playing? Doctor, you are getting me more confused. As a matter of fact, I am playing no games. I, I, I haven't been here. I'm just arriving in the hospital to take the two boy away. So what are you talking about? No. Please tell this man that he was here earlier and he took his child. Because I'm beginning to think you are suffering from dementia. No, sir. I'm just a soldier. That makes sense. No, follow me. As you can see, Paul. Where is it? Look, doctor. I am going to sue this hospital. I have not been here and I didn't take any child away from this hospital. So I know absolutely nothing about what you are talking about. I'm going to sue this hospital. I'm going to call the police myself. Okay, you will call the I'm police. Tired of, I'm, police tired of this game. I'm tired of everything. All right, oh, make, rubbish. Your call. make your call. Time is always against you when you don't want to eat my food. Come on, sugar, I don't sound like that. Trust me, I'll make it up to you when I come back. I'm going to
So how is the boy? The boy is stable now, but he's going to need a blood transfusion. What? Yes. Blood transfusion? Yes. All right, then listen. Get blood from anywhere. Blood bank, I don't know. I've seen before. I will pay. That's why I trust you. No problem, sir. No problem. Uh, we'll go ahead with the test. Then we'll know the blood and matches. All right? Okay. So just calm down, please. Please call me. Let's go.
sorry. None of the blood we have in this hospital matches for the body. We can buy blood from another hospital. Yes. We can't watch that little boy die. No one is reaching him there. Under these present circumstances, time is the business. And I'm not sure if that boy can hold on for that long. Okay, can we can we test my if it matches? Fine. If it doesn't, then we buy it from another hospital. Please, if that boy dies, my conscience will flog me for that. It's okay, that's fine. There's no problem. Let's you can talk with me and let's take your blood samples. Then we'll start from there. Ambrose, I have good news. The blood matched. Not only did the blood match, you and that boy have the same DNA. The varieties of tests carried out shows 100% that you are the father of that boy. What do you mean, Doctor? <laughs> the dog. Yes. Please, are you serious? No. I don't know the boy from Adams. He's a beggar that roams around the street. I was just unfortunate to run over him with a cat. How then can we say about this? Because I'm so confused right now. Dude, there's something about that boy. Which is? The boy is asthmatic. Yes. Doctor, what yes. did you just say? He is. He had the crisis during the blood transfusion. We had to stabilize him first. Yes. You said the boy is asthmatic. Yes. And the DNA test says that his father. Is that nice to go? Of course, you are free. Let's go. Was just diagnosed of asthma, not some deadly virus. He is too young for this. Asthma. How will he handle it at his age? He's just four. 
My sister was born with it. She grew up with it regardless. All the condition needs is proper care and attention. In other words, you are saying I did not take proper care of your sister, which led to her death. Of course not. I'm just trying to calm your nerves. We both are here for Odina, you'll be fine. That's why you want to kill him. You are flogging him with a belt, a four-year-old boy. Don't you know that this shouting might affect his mental health? Be careful. Yeah. Honey, you're the one spoiling this boy. You're the one spoiling this boy. Eh? Mr. Ambrose, is everything all right? Doctor, please. He is my son. Your son? Yes. Oh my God. This is my son. I lost him six years ago. I lost him six years ago. Jesus. Where are you coming from? Why are you smiling? It's not funny. Where are you coming from? Answer me. You left home since yesterday morning and you're coming back this morning. What stupid explanation do you have for it? I have a wonderful explanation you would like. What are you talking about? I found my son. Yes. I found Junior. I prayed and God answered my prayers and united me and my son. What nonsense are you talking about? I hope this is not a ploy to avoid what I'm asking you. It won't work. No. I know this might sound stupid, but as we speak, my son is at St. Joseph Hospital receiving treatment. Don't worry, you will see him with your eyes. As for how it happened, story for another day. You're just pulling my knees. Ambrose, you're back already? Yes, you're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. The boy is a strong boy, I must say. And he's responding to treatment really fast. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Obina, how are you? I'm very sorry. All right, um, I know this might sound funny. But... Truth be told, I am your father. But I don't have a father. No, you do. I am your father. I lost you six years ago when you were a child. Yeah. 
and not of this madness. And not of this madness. Tell me why you won't follow us to the village tomorrow. Tell me. I can't give you reasons why I won't follow you to the village. I do not like it down there. Besides, I don't want to step my foot to that godforsaken place anymore. Are, are you serious? Can you hear yourself speak? Not even now that we have found Obina. How can you comfortably refuse to visit your own motherland? You have not visited your mother for years. Now we have a strong reason that demands our presence. Yet you are declining. Is that something I should know? Like I said, I don't want to follow you to the village. Following you to the village will not change anything. You want to take Obina and show my mom and every other person that thought he was dead. I have seen him. There's no big deal about it. I don't have to go with you. Uh, yes. You must go. No, I'm not going anywhere. I see you my I go. said I don't want to go to the village. You Listen. I don't want to go. Listen. Oh, I, mm, heart is full of fever. Oh, oh, hey, she got a bitter heart. Hey, I, and she is mean, she's ready for any mischievous act And she don't care for anybody, for anybody. What a lady What a lady If you listen to you so much of your If you Learn to change your ways Before it is too late If If I the web I can win a friend to ball I come my door If I had to feel a fever Oh Hey She got a bit of heart Hey I And she is mean She's ready for any mischievous act And she don't care for anybody, for anybody. I, what a lady, if you didn't know, or what I to no more, they will listen to you so much of your if you didn't know, I, learn to change your ways, before it is too late, oh. if you didn't know, I thought you were smart, that lady would have avoided me,
so happy. Nay, you see this coat? It's a very wonderful coat. You know my daughter's husband has returned to take my daughter and the child with him. Yeah? You can't make it up. You see, I am telling you, my sister. Then did you answer? Yeah. Hey! Yeah, ma, I'm happy for you. <laughs> so, did your mother will go to Bodo? Ah, yes, so. Oh. My sister, yes, so. <laughs> eh? So, I brought this set of wrapper to give to the woman. This is part of the kit. The so, this is all. Of hey! Oh, I have a white you, one. Are you trying? Me? <laughs> it's for you, Mim. Who is that? Now, so the the money. Get I'm rude. I'm I'm rude. I'm rude. I'm rude. I'm rude. I'm rude. I'm 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 one at a time. One at a time. What is going on with huh? What is going on? Who is this boy? Huh? Who is this person? Mama, one at a time. One at a time, Munka. Mama, this is my son, Obina. Yes, the one that went missing six years ago. Obina, it's your grandson. Something, please don't let her. It is too late. Nothing can be done about it. She has violated what was said, and the consequences must prevail. Yes, I know, but I'm not the one that violated the rules now. It was her. I cannot share in her face. Have you forgotten what was said? Have you forgotten the words of yesterday? Have you forgotten? You cannot tie the spirit of her husband. It's too strong for that. 
for your sister, that will be done. But there are consequences if it's been violated. <laughs> Anything. I will keep the rules. Any rules guiding this process. <laughs> How do you want her to die? She is asthmatic. I want her to die as a result of the crisis. I want people to think she died because of her ailment. <laughs> the gods are wise. Then, it shall be done as you've requested. But, once she is buried, you must not enter your village for the next 15 years. <laughs> your foot must not touch the soil of your land. Else, doom awaits you. <laughs> I don't think I can be okay, I will do it. But how can I stay 15 years without stepping on my roots? It's not going to be easy. Greatness comes with great responsibilities. What you desire for has a price, and that is the price to pay. God has spoken. Okay, I would do anything but. How am I supposed to marry her husband without her being buried? The gods are wise! Nkakarita wa peme! Afudia di peme! Take this! that on the day you'll be tied in marriage with the young man. <laughs> but you must not return to your village in the next 15 years. I will do it. Remember, do not violate it. Because the day you will do Repercussion will spread his wings across others. <laughs> and you, you share in a doom. Remember, your path is tied to hers, just as hers is tied to yours. You may go. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. But I cannot die now, eh? Now the memories of yesterday have yet been revealed to you. The lady you brought here has brought your doom. For you are tied to her and she to you. Leave here this minute. No, but untie me to her now. You can do it. Untie me. I'll leave I'll leave I'll leave
Mama, are you okay? Shut up and drive this car. Yes, ma'am. why she has refused to come home. Ah! I forgot what you did. Only Ruben me have graduated. Eh? What did you do to me? What am I doing in the village? Until the next 15 years. Hey! 
Isso é demais. Hey, you killed your own sister. The only sibling you have in this world in order to marry her husband. And you made an attempt to kill her only child. Even if you are killing me, baby, why? 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 A cause from a mother comes from the death of the soul. Amoji does not inhabit such, and even one found guilty of such crime will face the path and do. If a demand, you have violated the secrecy of this land. You have been condemned by the soil that rooted you. And therefore, you shall be buried not within the boundaries of this kingdom. You will be thrown in silent deep forest. I mean the evil forest, that is why you'll be buried. Okay, I know what vultures will feed on you. Okay, Let me tell you something. Tomorrow morning, the youth will come and throw you into the evil forest. That is why you will die. Hey! 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 Ah! Oh, hey, I... Is full of fever. Oh, oh, hey, she got a bitter heart. Hey, I, mm, and she is mean, she's ready for any mischievous act, and she don't care for anybody. For anybody. Hey, what a lady. What a lady. Hey, is this for Madame Halima? Madam Halima, now a mad woman. And she don't care for anybody. For anybody. What a lady. Hey. You feel it now. Oh, quite well, but it's not enough. They will listen to you so much. You feel it now. I learn to change your ways before it is too late. How are you there today? Where are you, madam? Excuse me. What is excuse me? I know the toy boy to that small girl running around and behaving like a moron. Something wrong with you? Are you crazy? Will you get out of here? Okay, sorry. Sorry for yourself. Bloody fool. Idiot. So what we need stand to gain? What we need stand to gain? With wickedness and betrayal. So what we need stand to gain? Oi, with jealousy and envy. With jealousy and envy. So what we need gain? Oh. When you let the devil to use you, oh. and hatred has taken over you, and you walking against your own sister. I remember. No peace for the wicked. No peace. And karma is very rugged at judgment. Ah. So tread with caution, my sister. I remember. If one year met a love, if you love, and there is a wage for every sinner. 
Makanana so I am so We say time But they're like God Yeah Oh I But but they're like God Oh Hey Ah If a man Oh Boy Nessie no nyem Bolo man nemo What will you stand to gain? What will you stand to With gain? wickedness and betrayal. Why? So what will you stand to gain? Why? With jealousy and envy. With jealousy and envy. So what will you gain? Oh. When you let the devil to use you. Oh. And hatred has taken over you. And you walking against, against your own sister. I remember. No peace for the wicked. No peace. And karma is very rugged at judgment. Ah. So tread with caution, my sister. I remember. If only a metal if we met And there is a wage for every sinner. Makanana, so I am so. We say, Tai, but there is a Over the daily gun, hey, ah, ah, if a man, boy, Nessie no nyem bolo man nemo, Ready for any mischievous act, and she don't.